What do you think stalling is? On today's video, we're going over something that happened in the community that is causing drama. This player named Hyushi Sama was playing for top eight, but they got DQ'd with three minutes on the clock still down. They actually got DQ'd by the tournament organizer, Kahamsha, who threw together the tournament and DQ'd this player mid set while also viewing the footage and watching them live on stream. Something that I wanted to go over today is what do you guys think stalling is? For me, it's like a if you're, if you're losing and you're intentionally not engaging, then you are stalling. But if it's happening the entire game, that's when you can really say it. It, it is true. So let's go look at the video. Let's go look right now. So if you guys see this right now, Kahamsha threw together this tournament and was asking, is this stalling or not? Watch the whole clip. And this is actually the person who disqualified the player from being able to compete any longer. And they were down a stock, as you can see, and they didn't interact for I don't even know how many seconds, but they just sat there. The thing is, people are going to say, oh, why isn't the Ice Climbers engaging? Isn't it their fault too? The thing about it is there's no reason for the Ice Climbers to engage or be the one to have to go toward the other player because they're already winning. They are winning. Why are they going to put themselves in disadvantage and potentially give up center stage or potentially give up advantage state just because the other player is stalling and not trying to fight or not trying to do anything? Granted, it is really weird that somebody would say, oh, I was just thinking of a game plan. I was just thinking of something to do. I was just trying to figure out my next moves. In reality, that's not how it works like if both players are doing it but the player that is doing it is has less stocks than the other or is losing their percent they're going to lose the game as the clock goes down but the thing is is that this happened a lot in other games like it happened a lot in smash 4 happened a lot in brawl like where people were stalling intentionally but the thing is about this that's different from this clip is that the player Hyushi, the zelda wasn't really doing it that long and as you can see in the clip like it happens again while they're commentating and it's just like confusing because when you look at this to get DQ'd mid set when this is like the first time they did it is really weird in a way, but it is stalling to a degree because you are looking at it. The player is intentionally not trying to fight the other player. They are intentionally not trying to do anything. They tried to say, oh yeah, I was trying to come up with a game plan. That doesn't make any sense because you can come up with a game plan mid match. And the hardest and weirdest thing about this is that the tournament organizer has the last say, but DQing somebody mid bracket is kind of weird, I would say. Don't you guys think? So we're looking at this the outside in just paying attention to what's going on in the actual clip you see that Hyushi is sitting away from the Ice Climbers, and people are blaming both of them, but the Zelda needs to engage. The Ice Climbers doesn't have to do anything. The Ice Climbers is already winning, so the Zelda is stalling the match by not engaging because what is the point of engaging when you're already winning? If you're trying to win, usually you don't, like, throw away your advantage state, but the player that's losing isn't going to win any harder and is not going to lose any quicker if they run away the entire time or they don't try to engage. So the weird part for me is when I'm looking at this is how are we supposed to, like, determine a DQ on this or not. If you guys look at past footage like Chudat versus Mewtwo King back in the old days when Chudat was just cheesing in Brawl, sitting with Kirby by the ledge and just using the sucking cuck and like just dropping other players off the map by sitting by the ledge, why engage with that? You know, it's a losing strategy. The player is going to lose by timeout. But there's a few interesting things that have been going on because this person is getting cooked in the retweets for sure. If we look at this, this is Sam show. They are showing that two players not engaging and it's not stalling because because, I mean, the timer is really short, but neither player wants to engage because as soon as somebody opens the other one up, it immediately turns into a fiasco because the one person is going to get a hit in. And the thing about it is that if nobody does anything, then it's going to time out. And because it times out, you're going to get a win on both sides. That's weird to me that this would happen, but it's not considered stalling. They could have done this earlier, by the way, and the timer ran out. But the thing is, is that like it's not stalling in fighting games. This is actually just running the timer and it's a strategy. So I think that's really interesting to see that it's considered a strategy on fighting games. I thought it was really interesting to see a lot of the FGC's opinions. Brian says, I've always been confused about the issues with stalling and smash. Besides melee, where lit stalling is actually an invincible infinite, why can't you just lower the timer and allow people to play how they want? If they want to hit you once and run for three minutes, let them. I agree with that, and this is a really big topic that we don't really know how to fix, because in melee, it's the same problem. If you put the timer lower, then players and games that usually go to time anyway, like really slow matches like floaties versus floaties in melee, it's going to take even longer if it's, you know, the seven minutes things, but if 
you put it at three minutes, then it just incentivizes running away and stalling for however many minutes. So it's kind of a harder topic, but I think the interesting thing about the like Street Fighter players or FGC community in general is that they actually like 100% like make sense. Like why wouldn't we have a lower timer? But the problem arises is that there's players who are gonna abuse that. We already have players like Sonics who runs away for majority of the match, but they play really smart and they play aggressive when they need to. The thing about this clip that's weird for me is that Hyushi's losing and is just not engaging and they're saying oh i was thinking i don't think that you're thinking i think that you're just stalling if we go to ship dogs tweet this isn't stalling i mean everybody's got opinions on this but that's not what they care about they're noticing that this to and the ic's player on the same crew gdn gdn it does not look good on that aspect and when we go to brutus's tweet if i was the zelda player in the situation i would never enter your events ever again dqing someone for playing within the rules because you find it boring is childish as a to i mean at the end of the day it is a to's decision it is kind of a weird one but it is stalling i don't know what what they want to say because they are not engaging they're losing like they are wasting the clock on purpose but the thing is about it is that like the timer is kind of long and they're gonna lose within that time anyway because they're gonna time themselves out and i thought we'd end on a funny note <laughs> because saint cola said me to the to's of we playing smash and you don't engage after two seconds <laughs> randall dude oh my god but i mean what do you guys think do you guys think this is stalling i think it's stalling a lot of players in different communities think it's stalling some people don't think it's stalling i definitely don't think it warranted a dq like if somebody was just doing this the entire time like i thought this clip was going to be a lot longer of stalling and like running away and not engaging and just like running the clock for no reason but the weird part is that they only do this like twice before the to decides yeah i'm dqing you i think that's really weird i'm not really sure how to go about this any other way i think it's odd that you would dq somebody that's playing the game still i mean yes they are stalling right here but the thing is, is usually you get a warning or like you're told like hey don't do this like if you saw the smash 4 stuff these two at evo were definitely stalling and they but they were intentionally trolling i feel like because they knew each other I don't know. This is intentional. Whereas if you're looking at the clip that we talked about, I mean, this is intentional, but it's not like there's both doing it. It's because one doesn't have to engage and the other is losing. While as the one that was in Smash 4 that became such a controversial thing that killed Smash 4 was actually both of them plotting against the game. I'm not really sure what to think. I mean, I think this is stalling. I'm not sure. I don't think a DQ was really warranted, especially if there's time on the clock because a player that's, that's stalling would still get timed out regardless and they would still lose as a down a stop. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I will see you next time, soldier. Goodbye.